Hi there. In this video, we will take a look at how do we read an Excel file in PowerShell. Now when we want to work with an Excel file in PowerShell, we have two options. One is to use the external module that we would load and install in the PowerShell. And other is to use the COM add-in where we do not need to install the module. So in this video, we will take a look at how do we install a module and then work with the module so that we can work with the Excel file in PowerShell. So we are going to go ahead and install the module. So let's call it install module name is the import Excel. Now, as you can see, I am not logged in as the administrator. I have not opened up the PowerShell as the administrator. So what I need to do is I have to provide a scope that it just installs it at the current user, which is fine. If you are the administrator, if you have opened up the PowerShell as an administrator, you can skip the scope part. It should do just well. So for now, let's go ahead and execute this. And it, you would see that it would start installing the module. You are installing the module from untrusted repository. It's fine. Click on yes to all. It should start installing this module. And as we can see, it is almost about to complete. And there we have it. Now, I have an Excel file called employee data.xlsx. As you can see, it's the Excel worksheet. And this is the sample Excel file that I have. So I have you know several columns that you can see. And I have three sheets as well, right? So I have the employee data for United States, employee data for China, and employee data for the Brazil, right? So I have a similar set of columns, but I do have a different data in each of the sheets. And I have this Excel file, all right? So let's go ahead and first start reading the data from the Excel file using the module. Now, before we do that, we need to import the module and we'll call it import Excel because that's the module which we installed. So let's import that module. Now we will first define the Excel file path which we would like to read. So let's define the path or should examples and it's going to be employee data .xlxx, all right? And now let's read the data and let's call it Excel data. And the way we read it is import Excel. As we can see, we have also started getting the IntelliSense because now we have the module installed. So import Excel. And then of course we will define a path which we already have stored in the Excel file path, right? So let's go ahead and just print this variable and let's hit run. As we can see, it has started reading all this data from the Excel file and it has printed. Let's put a pipeline. Let's call it format table. Let's hit run. Yes, I want to save. And you would see that it has also loaded the data, right? If I scroll a little up, you would see the data has come in, right, from the Excel file. Now, let's take a look at a very first record. And the first record is senior manager, IT, research and development, Emily Davis. Let's take a look at the Excel. So we have Emily Davis in the United States. So what that means is it's actually loading the default sheet, which is the first sheet from the Excel. What if you would like to import a specific sheet data? How would we do that? Let's go ahead. And add that to do that all you need to do is provide the worksheet name so if I like to get the data for Brazil I'm just gonna go and put that worksheet name yes I'm gonna save it and now let's go ahead and see the first record of this output let's quickly scroll through now you will see it's less Alvarado. Let's go back. Let's go to China. As you can see, no, that's not the first one. If you go to Brazil, indeed, we see that's the first one. So now we were successfully able to load the data from the specific sheet 
from the Excel. Let's put CLS so that every time when we run, it clears the output. Now, let us say you only would like to retrieve only the specific fields or the specific columns and not really all the columns. So what we need to do, we need to provide the header name, right? So let name that we would like to retrieve the full name. We would like to retrieve the gender and we would like to retrieve the age. That's the only three fields we would like to retrieve. Let's go ahead, save it, run it. And as we can see, we now have got only three fields from the Excel, from also the specific sheet. Now, let's just say that you would like to load a specific range of cells value, and then you would like to work on that. You don't want to load the entire data. In that case, how we can achieve that? So we need to specify the start row. So let's say we would like to start with row number one. We start with start column one. That is the first column, first row. You can also define any number of row and any number of column that would actually start from that row and column combination. And then you would also specify which is the end row. So we are just going to get first 10. That's why we are mentioning 10. And you can also say end column as well and i would say let's just retrieve only the four columns right so let's save this hit run and as you can see we've only got the first four columns because we have specified the end column as four we've only got 10 rows from the very first row so as we can see we have start row is one start column is one and row is 10 and end column is four right so if you go back to brazil Look for Elias and Thomas. If we go back to Brazil, we have Elias as a first record, and then we have Thomas as the, uh, you know, the, the last record, right, that we want to retrieve, all right? So that is how we can actually retrieve the specific cells, range of cells from the Excel file. Now, let's say you want to filter some of the data from the Excel, and then you want to load that data into the variable. So how do we do that? Let's go ahead and pipe this up. Now we will say where object, we'll put opening bracket and closing bracket, we'll come inside this. And now we'll call it underscore, sorry, the, the dollar underscore dot. And then we will have to specify the column which we would like to filter on. So let's say we would like to filter on department should be equals to IT only. Right, so that's what you want to retrieve from the Brazil sheet. Only the records where you have the department mentioned as IT. All right, so let's go ahead, save this, hit enter. And as you can see, we only have the records that is coming in from IT, not all. We have removed all the other filters. So Brazil has really lot many records as we can see. Right? However, we have retrieved only the IT department records. Okay, so I hope this simple example helped you to get going and get started with how do we work with Excel files using PowerShell. I thank you for watching the video.